Well, here's a look at Bald Rock. This is out in Alabama in St. Clair County. Beautiful out there, right? Well, this was just the other day in Bald Rock. Same exact view, similar time, but take a look at this. A blanket, a bank of fog coming up one side of the mountain, but doing something odd on the other side. We're completely clear. So how on earth does this happen? Believe it or not, mountains have a huge play. They play a huge role in a lot of weather phenomena that take place here. Let's talk about this. Cooler air is more dense, right? So naturally it sinks. It's going to be in the lower areas, in valleys, low lying areas. And as it evaporates, it condenses quicker. So you get a very moist air mass situated right up against a, a mountain chain or one lone mountain in this case, and it condenses. You form these really dense fog banks. On the flip side, as this air goes up and over the mountain, it warms and it dries. So as it's descending down the other side of the mountain, it actually evaporates. And so on one side, you have the dense fog. On the other side, you have clear conditions. Just another example of how mountains can play a role. And if you look at the map here, we look at our dense fog days here on, on average during a year. Of course, coastal locations have a lot of fog, but take a look at where we see a lot of our fog days mountainous areas. You ever been to the Smoky Mountains? They get that nickname because it looks smoky. It's that same process that upslope fog, that orographic lift. You get a ton of those days here right in the middle of the Appalachian Mountains all the way up into Maine. Pretty cool to see that here locally. That's how it works. I'm meteorologist Evan Chigvera.